Now over to Swanton, where police believe they know who painted hateful messages on a recreation path and elementary school. Community members now hoping it doesn't happen again. NBC 5's Brianna Borgie has details. It bothered me. It, it disturbed me. You know, it's hate, pure and simple. Longtime Swanton resident Steve Ryan usually enjoys riding his bike along the town's recreation path. This morning I am on it and uh, see all these artistic endeavors on the sidewalk or on the, on the pavement. Uh, swastikas help Hitler. This was the second time hateful messages were painted on the path. After the first incident, a local artist painted over them. I'd be the first one to congratulate him for, for, for his efforts in, uh, uh, you know, trying to override this vandalism. Select board member Ed White was surprised to hear similar anti-Semitic graffiti was found on a table at the nearby elementary school, which has since been cleaned up. It's saddening uh, because our school is for education for the future of, of Swanton. So it, it's, it's, it's equally as sad that somebody would take and vandalize the school. Police believe a juvenile who goes to the local high school vandalized both the path and table. Right now we're looking at unlawful mischief, um, which in this case, just from what I've seen, would be a misdemeanor. Um, the hate crime aspect, that would be up to the state's attorney's office to determine that. Lieutenant David Kachajian says this type of vandalism isn't common in Swanton. Luckily, we don't get too much of the anti-Semitic or Nazi or any type of, you know, the, the racist type of graffiti we've seen, unfortunately, on the uh, recreation trail. As for Ryan, the avid biker, he hopes this serves as a lesson. Freedom of expression, freedom of speech are nothing without the responsibility that goes along with it. In Swanton, Brianna Borgie, NBC5 News.